A brand that is arguably one of the biggest automotive success stories in South Africa in the last 10 years is Haval. Ever since they were launched in South Africa, they have just grown from strength to strength to strength. And since the Jolian was launched in South Africa in 2021, it very quickly became one of Haval's top selling brands. Well, fast forward to 2023, the Jolian range has received a little bit of a refreshment with some new models in the range. I'm Dean Friedrich, welcome to this video. If you're new here, hello, I review cars and I talk about cars a lot. If you are not new here, hi, welcome back. <laughs> this is the Haval Jolian S. Let's take a look. I've 
really, really enjoyed it. I don't have any experience with the normal Jolien model, so the non-upgraded version, if you can call it that. I don't have any experience with that, but what I can tell you is that with this upgraded kilowatts and upgraded torque, it definitely makes an absolutely amazing difference. It performs really, really well. And that seems to have improved fuel consumption too. Because I remember seeing in past Jolien reviews and kind of with some Haval reviews in general, and I did experience this when I had the H6 GT last year. I'll link that review down below if you want to watch that one as well. Um, that was very heavy on fuel. <laughs> and a lot of people have been saying with Jolien as well that it was quite thirsty. But with the Jolien S, the performance upgrades seem to have improved fuel consumption because quoted fuel consumption on the Jolien S is 7.5 liters per 100 kilometers. And I'm very happy to report that I was able to match that. That doesn't always happen. You cannot always get exactly, you know, what fuel consumption figure the brand claims. But happy to report that with the Jolien S, I was able to match the fuel consumption, get it down to 7.5 liters per 100 Ks. Um, also not trying that hard. I was just kind of driving in normal mode, not really, you know, but cruising on the highway with the cruise control on at 120 Ks an hour, obeying the speed limit like a good taxpayer, I was able to get the fuel consumption down to 7.5. So it's very, very nice to see that fuel consumption on the Jolien has been improved because that was something that people were like kind of let down by with Haval. So it's nice to see that that has been sorted out. that the Jolien S has received over and above normal Jolien models, you also now have a revised rear suspension set up on this one. So with past Jolien versions, it was a solid torsion beam, but with the Jolien S that has now been upgraded to a McPherson strut suspension, if I'm saying the words properly. And that is all in the name of improved handling and improved comfort. And I've got to say, that I can attest to because driving the Jolien is very, very comfortable. You know, you're not too bumpy. Okay, this road surface is a little bit uneven that I'm driving on at the moment, but it's nothing terrible. I'm not like, you know, chitty chitty bang bang all over the show. You sit very, very nicely, feels very planted and comfortable and composed on the road. So those suspension upgrades are very, very welcome. And I'm glad to see that Haval is improving a bunch of things. Something that I will also say is an improvement, and I don't know if it was always like this, but as I mentioned earlier, I did drive the H6 GT a couple of months ago, and I did find the infotainment system on that car to be quite complicated. However, with this one, with the Jolien S's operating system here, I find this to be a lot more user-friendly. So whether this is a system that was always here, or whether it is something new that has recently been introduced, I find this to be an upgrade from the H6 GT because this is a lot easier to use. There goes another Jolien. <laughs> that was not planned, I promise. What are you doing, sir? Can I come around? Yes, I can. Look at me, I'm so well behaved on the road.
mentioning earlier in the video, the Jolien S is based on the Super Luxury. So the interior of this car is pretty much exactly the same as that of the Super Luxury. And that is super, super good, no pun intended, because the Super Luxury was the big boy in the Jolien range. That was the one that came with all the features, all the tech, all this active and passive safety features. So it's nice that not only do you have the upgraded performance and the upgraded suspension in the Jolien S, you also have all that amazing value for money that we have come to know and love in the Jolien range. So. A whole bunch of standard features include this massive 12.5 inch infotainment screen, this panoramic sunroof, this full leather interior, the rotary gear shifter, and all of those good things that we have really come to love from the Haval Jolien. Let me just get past this guy here quickly. What are you doing, sir? What are you actually doing? Okay, there we go. Let's just get past him. <laughs> Cape Town, am I right? This is what happens when you decide to come and uh, film a review on Table Mountain on a warm day. I would say is the amount of safety features that the Jolien is fitted with because I mean a compact SUV like this is going to be driven primarily by families and with family cars you really want to know you know that you and the rest of your family your kids the in-laws depending on how well you and your mother-in-law get along <laughs> you want to make sure that everybody is safe inside the car and luckily with the Jolien S you most definitely are because you have a huge host of active and passive safety features. I mean, you have got the heads up display over here that I'm looking at while I'm driving. You've got blind spot warning. You've got a beautiful, very crystal clear 360 degree camera in here. You've got, oh my gosh, radar cruise control, lane keep assist, lane center keep assist. Uh, what else? There is so much, I'm actually not even going to be able to get through to them, partly because I can't remember, because that's how many there are, and second, if I sit here and mention all of them, I'm going to sound like a parrot, just like reciting a whole bunch of stuff, but that is something that stands out to me immediately. Another thing that also stands out to me as a really good plus point with the Jolien S is this panoramic roof. I love a sunroof. I've said this very openly, very publicly in past videos that I am a massive sunroof fan. So the fact that you have this beautiful big panoramic roof in the Jolien is a massive plus point in my opinion. Something else that I also quite enjoy, and this might be like a little thing, but to me, I really appreciate it, is this beautiful pearl white. I think this looks really, really nice because sometimes a lot of white cars, they can look really plain, and dare I say it for lack of a better term, they look like rentals. But with this one, this pearl white with these black rims and the black trimmings on the outside with this S model, they look really, really, really good. I also really like how much storage is in here with this massive center console storage bin underneath here thanks to the fact that this transmission is a drive-by wire system so there's no massive you know gearbox that needs to sit here and also because of that there isn't such a big hump um, between the two seats at the rear here so if you sit in the middle at the back in this car your feet aren't like up like this you know what I mean you can sit very very comfortably in the middle 
And on that note, I really, really like this interior. I think this is super comfortable. The seats look really, really good. I love the white beading in the stitching as well. I love the fact that the two front seats are heated, that it's electrically adjustable. So as you can see, there are a lot of things <laughs> that I really like about the Haval Jolian S. <laughs> shelf hook into onto the actual boot door are not very stable so a couple of times I've opened the boot and the little ropes the little strings to hook up the the boot onto the parcel tray have come loose and then the parcel tray comes down and smacks me in the face I don't like that something else that I also have noticed with the Jolian S is that even though this is supposed to be a sportier model in the Jolian range um, this car doesn't seem to like surprises very much. Like if you are, let's say for example, if you're on the highway and you want to overtake and you put your foot down, it takes a couple of seconds before the gearbox is like, oh, okay, we're gearing down. Okay, here we go. And it's like, with the drive-by-wire system number one and the fact that this is supposed to be the Jolian S, the sportier one, I would have expected the transmission to be a little bit more awake. So I think that was something that was a bit of a bramp. And one other thing, although this might be quite a small thing, there's no volume button <laughs> on the radio. You have to use the steering wheel, which for me as a driver is not a problem. But you know, if you've got Passenger Princess with you and they want to adjust the volume on the radio, they can't. So that could either be a plus point or a negative point, depending on how you look at it. Because nobody can change your music. Nobody can put the volume down while you're listening to your jams. as the two top of the range models 
Um, so let's say, for lack of a better term, this is now technically, in terms of price, this is now a middle of the range Jolian, which sounds weird because it doesn't feel or look like a middle of the range Jolian. And the Jolian S, at the time of filming this video, will cost you just under literally 50 Rand shy of 480,000 Rand. Um, that will then also include a five year warranty from Havol South Africa, as well as a five year service plan. And I actually want to just emphasize that for a second because even though Havol has been doing absolutely amazing in the South African market and sales of the brand just continue to climb and climb exponentially month after month, a lot of people seem to still be quite weary of Havol in general because of the fact that this is a Chinese brand. And you can understand where the skepticism comes from because we have had a lot of Chinese brands in South Africa over the years that have really flopped, like they flopped hard. <laughs> But Haval really has not done that. They have come into the market, played their cards right, and really given the public what they want, which is good looking products that are safe, that are well designed, well put together. I mean, we all know that this is a very beautiful interior. I really like the minimalist look of it. And really kind of showing the public that, see, not all Chinese brands are so horrible. And I think that the fact that a five year warranty and a five year service plan is offered with the Jolian, the Jolian S, that says something. That says that Haval is telling you, like, listen, we are putting our money where our mouth is. For five years, we've got your back with this car. You're okay. You know, you're sorted. You've got our support. We'll help you if something goes wrong. And I think that if a Chinese brand concerns you because of the longevity or the reliability, I think that a five-year warranty and a five-year service plan should definitely put those concerns to rest. Because for five years, you are covered. And that sounds like a really good deal to me because they are market leaders, brand leaders in South Africa that offer shorter warranties than that. So, something to bear in mind, definitely a feather in Haval's cap that I do think needs to be mentioned. everywhere on the road you see them all over the place all the time and to be quite honest with you after driving this car and after spending some time with it I completely understand why I really do I understand the hype I totally get it this is a very very good looking product it is very very well put together it drives very nicely too it is extremely competitively priced and in a compact SUV segment like this in South Africa, where pretty much every single brand you can think of has something to offer, it's not that hard to understand why Haval has been so successful with the Jolian. So if you own one of these, I completely get it. I understand why totally. And if you are considering one of these, I totally get it and I understand why. And I strongly suggest that you go and check it out. And if you do have a couple of extra bucks to spend, look at the Jolian S or even look at the Jolian Hybrid because in terms of performance and fuel consumption the Jolian just got a whole lot better <laughs> by the way also fun fact did you know that Jolian in Mandarin obviously pronounced differently or spelled differently means first love how cute is that I think that's so sweet Anyways, I'm Dean Frederick. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me and the Haval Jolian S today. I hope that I've answered any questions that you might have about the Jolian or the Jolian S. 
If you do have questions still that I haven't answered in the video, leave a comment down below and I will gladly get back to you. Please also like this video if you enjoyed this review and if you enjoy my review and want to know more about some cars that you might be looking at buying in the future, uh, subscribe if you haven't already so that I can see you in my next one. I am off to enjoy the rest of my afternoon in sunny Cape Town with the Haval Jolien S and I will see you again soon. Bye.